friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Meredith and I am so excited to be sharing with you today my Christmas 2020 Decorate With Me Part 1. We're gonna be decorating the living room, the kitchen, a couple of downstairs spaces. So definitely be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe before you go. I would love to have you. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we get started decorating, I do want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be wearing two of these gorgeous pieces of jewelry while decorating today. And if you guys have never heard of Ana Luisa, they are a sustainable jewelry brand that uses only the best noble metals in each one of their pieces that are handcrafted with care. They have fair prices on their websites, no markups, and some of their pieces start as low as $39. And the first piece I'm showing you guys that I'm going to be wearing today is this beautiful bracelet. I love the adjustable clasp. I'm not going to be wearing this pair of earrings today, but I did want to show you the carrying case that it comes in. It's perfect for travel. It keeps all of your jewelry nice and safe, and each one of their pieces of jewelry comes packaged with this. And then the last piece of jewelry that I'm going to be wearing today are these beautiful pearl drop earrings. I love the gold chain. And like I said, Ana Luisa has so many amazing products on their website. They are running a huge Black Friday sale right now, so definitely be sure to check out the link in my description box if you are looking for some gifts for the holiday season. Thank you so much again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. starting out today decorating in the living room and I'm just fluffing out this flocked garland here. I had originally used it last year outside on my front step railing and I just decided to go with something different. And you probably noticed that the Christmas tree is already set up and that's because I wanted to give our cat a little bit of time to acclimate to a Christmas tree. If you guys don't know, Jack and I have a six month old kitten and we just really didn't know how she was gonna handle the Christmas tree, so I left it set up with nothing on it except for the lights, because it is a pre-lit tree. And she did really great. We have it attached to the wall with a thin fishing line, and so far so good. She has not tried to climb the tree or knock anything off of it. But you're also gonna see in this video, I'm gonna move around a lot, arrange and rearrange things probably a hundred different times. I'm pretty indecisive when it comes to home decor and because I'm very consistent with style, most of the items that I have would work in just about any room in the house. So you'll definitely see me change my mind probably a hundred times, but I am gonna do a Christmas house tour once I have decorated the entire house. So if you wanna know where anything is from, then definitely be sure to turn on your bell notifications. That way you don't miss any of my uploads and you can stay tuned for that Christmas house tour that will be coming out in a few weeks. to get a new stocking this year for Josie and I love using ornaments to label stockings so if you don't have personalized stockings you can personalize them by just getting an initial ornament. I found this one at Target and I have one for my stocking and for Jack's stocking. I believe I got those at, at home. They're just tucked away in another box but it's a great way to personalize a stocking without buying one that's pre-embroidered with a name on it. Those can be so expensive so just a little tip especially if you have a lot of people in your family. I know quite a few of you are into farmhouse decor, so I wanted to give a little shout out to the adorable book stack that I have here on the mantle. My favorite Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life, and this was kindly sent to me by Jamie. She has an Etsy shop called the Brookside Market. I will leave the link to her Etsy shop in my description box because I know that you guys will absolutely love the things that she has on there. She has lots of stamped book stacks and other farmhouse type decor, but I really just wanted to give a shout out to Jamie because this is just an absolutely gorgeous piece and so personalized. I'm really curious what your favorite Christmas movie is, so let me know down in the comments what is your go-to movie for the holidays. Always remember the way that we feel. Look at us now. Walking around in the snow. We do 
it in a very Christmas way. Collars are so popular this year and I was considering getting one but then I realized because of the location of my tree next to the fireplace I probably couldn't get one to fit all the way around the base of the tree so I'm going with the same tree skirt from last year and I just kind of like to put this under the tree so it looks kind of messy like snow and I also put a towel under there to protect my floor and to make the middle of this tree skirt a little bit more full and now I'm gonna move on to finish decorating this fireplace it took me about a thousand tries to get it the way that I wanted it to and even where I leave it at the end of this video I went back and of course made some more changes so like I said you're gonna see the final look in my Christmas home tour in just a couple of weeks just in love with the way that this tiered tray turned out and a little hack that you can try if you are into tiered trays as well is a couple of the things I'm using here are actually Christmas ornaments so the little lantern looking thing at the top is an ornament as well as that Christmas tree sign and the one that says welcome friends the big square that's also an ornament too I just left the little hanging part on it but if you cut the little pieces at the top off where you would hang it on the tree then it works as a perfect piece for a tiered tray you wouldn't even know that it was an ornament so I'm just kind of playing with how I want this to look I'm using these little mini bottle brush trees and these little galvanized houses that I found from Target to get everything where I want it to go and the tiered tray process is legitimately a process. You guys know if you decorate tiered trays that it just takes a while to get it exactly the way that you want it to go and I always stick it in this corner here next to the refrigerator so I actually don't have to worry about decorating it from both sides but those of you who put yours in the middle of a table or somewhere where it can be seen from all the sides of it you know how hard it is to make it look absolutely perfect. In a cabin out of So I'm moving on to decorating the tree and the first thing that I like to do is take my pieces of ribbon and just kind of string them through the tree how I want them to go and I have seen people do this where they just use one long strand of ribbon and they go around the entire tree however I have my Christmas tree in a corner so I'm only going to decorate the part of the tree that you would actually see so the entire back of the tree is not decorated so I'm only putting the ribbon in the front so I'm just using individual small pieces that I have cut and then just kind of tucking them into the branches and I would do this if you have your Christmas tree in a location where you're only going to see one side of it kind of like the tiered tray you don't have to worry about decorating the back of it just the sides and the front that are going to actually be seen so I'm going in with this burlap ribbon first and then once that's all tucked in I'm going to go back in with some red ribbon and I believe that this is two inch ribbon and I got it from Michaels last year so it's just reused and then I'm going to go in with some of my tree picks some are from last year Year and some are new from this year and I got them at Target and like I said in my Christmas home tour I'm gonna kind of go over where absolutely everything is from and I'll have everything linked in that video as well so like I said be sure those notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on that video
Let me know in the comments what your Christmas decor style is. As you can tell, I really love traditional colors, kind of that rustic farmhouse look with a little bit of feminine colors and textures mixed in. So let me know in the comments what you like to go with. I have seen so many different kinds of Christmas decor this year. And even though I only like to decorate my house in basically one kind of style, I can appreciate so many amazing creative ways to decorate your house. So let me know what you like to do down in the comments. I will go back in and add ornaments later, but I did want to wait for Jack for that part just because he loves doing that with me. But now I'm going to add a tree topper, and this is the first year that I have ever used a tree topper, but if you watched my Christmas shop with me and haul video, then you probably saw that this topper is from Hobby Lobby. They had so many different kinds this year, and this one just went absolutely perfect with all of the colors and textures that I'm using to decorate with. I feel like it just kind of adds that extra bit of extra to the top of the tree. So I'm just adding a few finishing touches to the fireplace area, a little bit of greenery, some red beads, and then I wanted to share with you another tip for how to decorate an area on a budget. So usually I don't put any presents out under the tree until pretty close to Christmas, and sometimes there are a bunch of presents under the tree and some years not so many. So if you're looking for a great way to fill your tree, if you're not giving a ton of gifts or doing gift giving, then buy some of these empty boxes from Hobby Lobby. They also have some at Home Goods, and they make a really great decor piece. You can get them in so many different colors and styles, and they come in a bunch of different sizes. You'll see in just a minute when I put all of mine out. I have some that are little tins for gift cards and some that are boxes like this. You can also get them big enough to store some of your Christmas wrapping supplies in. So usually I'll put some gift tags and some tape and maybe a little bit of ribbon in one of those boxes. And then that way when I am ready to wrap gifts in the living room, all I have to do is grab the box that has all of the Christmas supplies in it. And then I can wrap my presents and stick them right back under the tree. But this just really fills up the space underneath the tree while you're waiting for some presents to be under there. It's in Christmas times. I found a couple of Bath and Body Works candles from last year that had not been fully burned and so I was able to save these and hold on to them so I'm going to light a candle and the last thing I'm going to do is set out my place settings and table runner on the kitchen table just so it feels extra cozy in here but that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it please be sure to hit the like button and if you are looking for some awesome holiday gifts and Black Friday shopping be sure to check out my link in the description box for Ana Luisa and I will see you guys again next week with my Christmas decorate with me part two. Bye guys. Alright. Now this Christmas, we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance. Come on. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. Dance.